Hi, Gus. Uh, welcome to our, our continuing talk about uh, the tech vision from Accenture for 2018. And today we're going to be talking about this topic of data veracity, right? Mm -hmm. Which I, for me means this idea of data integrity, you know, data that we can trust, data that's objectively verifiable, and we can, we can rely on it to make decisions. Um, so I know you're an expert in looking at this. You've considered this problem for a while and, and the challenges associated with data integrity. Uh, what does it mean for you and where do you see our clients going with it? You know, so first off, you know, everybody talks about the three V's of data. That's been around for a long time, right? Yeah. Uh, volume, uh, you know, variety, and velocity. velocity. yeah. And veracity has actually been the fourth V that's been out there for a long, long period of time, right? Uh, the ability to understand your data, where it's come from, have integrity in the data, right? Data integrity becomes mm -hmm. absolutely essential mm -hmm. this thing. Has my data been modified in any way, shape, or form? Uh, you know, uh, you know, and and if you really want to get down to it, uh, a concept uh, I'll use the term correctness. In other words, okay. is the data itself actually correct? So, for the ability for businesses to really use data effectively, this concept of veracity is absolutely essential. Sure, okay. sure. Yeah. And so, it sounds like yeah. more than just ensuring yeah. that the data I have is correct, but not only that data is correct, but maybe other data I'm starting to take yeah. advantage of. How does it compare? How do mm -hmm. I how do I balance and yeah. and contrast and say, you know, do I get multiple source verification? So there's it sounds like it's gotten a little more complex than it used to be. It's gotten extremely complex, and and in fact that that that's uh, you know sort of the uh, the uh, the uh, if you will if you will the kind of a good news and a bad news thing, right? Yeah. Is that with technology today we actually have the ability to do some of this compare and contrast that we could never have done before at sure. scale with the volumes that are out there, right? So yeah. so that's the good news. The problem we get into, I think, with data and data veracity is that is that along with, you know, as we said, the, the, the integrity of the data, which uh -huh. I think is actually a nice solvable problem. Like okay. this is where blockchain comes in sure. and a lot of things around encryption and hashing and signing and all the things that actually get assembled into this concept behind blockchain that's mm -hmm. there, right? Mm -hmm. So so the ability to guarantee the integrity of my data, meaning that it has not been modified from the uh, point yeah. of collection sure. and delivery to when I get to use it, I think is a fairly solvable solution. I, I think the harder problems around data bias okay, okay. in systems, and the thing, as I mentioned before, data correctness, right? Is okay. the data actually itself correct, right? Sure. And, and, and these get really tough uh, because bias creeps in at every side, every aspect when right. we talk about data, right? And uh, from the data we collect to the questions we ask of the data, right, are problematic. So even you know when we get in there, it really lends itself to uh, to uh, 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 needing to train the people themselves on how to use data really effectively, effectively. Within, okay. within the environment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? sure. That's how you deal with that problem. So I want to go back to yeah. you mentioned bias in data. Yeah. How do you? First off, uh, how does that harm what you're trying to do? And how do you recognize the bias there? And how do you address it, correct it, you know, <laughs> yeah. deal with it? How do you right, deal yeah. with bias? You know, what's interesting is, uh, as I said, I, bias I think is the single hardest problem we deal with uh, in data. And, and because bias creeps in at every single level across the board. Mm -hmm. And so this is where, again, uh, training of, your, of, of people on the systems, uh, uh, transparency, right? Okay. So in yeah, other words, yeah. when, when big data analytic systems or AI systems or machine learning algorithms uh, compute to an answer, right? Uh, we can't accept those answers blindly. We have to have the ability to say, show me how you got uh, to that you answer yeah. so I can dig through it and see actually what transpired. You uh -huh. see? And so that's that transparency that also then combined with this other thing that I call assurance, right? In okay. other words, this is part of data veracity. Right? Okay. So uh, you, uh, you know, are, are, you know, I, I want assurance when I'm online that you are you. Okay? Right. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying, uh -huh. right? I want assurance the data has integrity. Has right? integrity, okay. yep. And then from there, I can make decisions about how much I want to invest in, in trust, right? So right. trust being the subjective outcome. But with trust, to do trust requires this level of transparency mm -hmm. as to how data has been used. As you, we, you know, I think you, you know, provenance and lineage and right. pedigree and all right. those things, where the data came from, how can I follow these things? And all that together is what will allow me and, and let the human understand what has transpired and see into it, and then they can make judgments about bias. Sure, okay. so you know, over the yeah. years we've had master data management, data yeah. governance activities. It sounds like there, there's a new, new emphasis on this trend. Um, if I was going to get started as an agency, what's the one unique thing I should probably pay attention to that's maybe different than what I've done before? I would say that as an agency, yeah. the single most important thing you want to be able to do is at least have data integrity. Okay. Okay. Period. No exceptions. That is uh, because the ability to subtly modify data is the most is a very pernicious thing. 
uh, and it's the new form of cyber attack. Yeah, okay. the first, right? Okay. So we, when your data won't compute to the answer you were expecting or gives you wrong data because somebody has subtly modified it, that's a really, really bad thing. Yeah. But if I have data integrity, meaning I really do apply blockchain and things we talked about so that I'm sure my data is what my data is. Yeah, okay. okay. Right? Uh, then I can take all these next steps to begin to make other decisions around that. Okay, Got it. Out that, the rest is useless. Just, okay, great. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, thank okay. you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah, this discussion. Delighted.